Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Messi, as it has been reported that Juan Laporta have called and apologized to the Barca legend and claims are saying that the player is very happy. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Ace Abde, as it has been reported that Barcelona loan forward is expected to join the first team in the summer. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. In a major revelation, Catalan journalist Juan Fontes is claiming that Barcelona president Juan Laporta had called and issued an apology to club legend Lionel Messi. The Argentine captain was reportedly very happy after the conversation. Messi's future has been a topic of intense speculations in recent months as he closes in on the expiry of his contract at Paris Saint-Germain. Why it has been suggested that the 35-year-old could renew with the French champions, doubts are starting to creep in if that will indeed be the case. Indeed, reports from France suggested today that PSG were unwilling to give in to Messi's contract demands and that some within the club were unsure about the extension. Amidst this, Barcelona have been working behind the scenes to assess whether Resigning Messi this summer is feasible for them, given the financial fair play issues. One of the main obstacles for the deal to happen was believed to be the frosty relationship between the two camps over how Messi's exit was handled back in 2021. But it now seems like there may be some easing off on that front. Only recently, Messi's father, George, had met with Laporta in Barcelona to discuss a possible return and a tribute to the Argentine captain. Now, Juan Fonte is reporting that Laporta has already spoken to Messi and made an apology at some point last year, with a 35-year-old Barcelona legend reportedly happy with how the talk went. The report also claims that manager Xavi Hernandez has been in constant touch with his former teammate along with Alejandro Achievera the brother-in-law of Laporta, who has been trying to bridge the gap between the two parties. Furthermore, Xavi is understood to have met the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner back in November when the Barcelona manager explained he plans to use Messi in the right interior position. The 43-year-old tactician also informed the PSG superstar that he will try to keep Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba at the club so that he can be comfortable if he returns. It also states that Messi dreams of a comeback and his family too are hoping to return to Barcelona. But his father and brother have been working to keep the rumors quiet. If true, it could be a big boost for Barcelona in their bid to resign Messi. However, there is no guarantee that such a move will materialize as the financial fair play issues continue to loom over the Catalans and it is uncertain as to what kind of contract they would be able to offer their prodigal son. Of course, Messi's return to Barca have been one of the most talked about rumors recently and it has always been something that it has bring a lot of division of opinions between the Barca faithfuls. Laporta have had a bad relationship with Messi since Messi left in such a controversial way back in 2021. And one of the reasons that have always been, the, you know, like one of the things that could hinder such a return to Barca was the fact that Messi and Laporta have a bad relationship. You know, also coupled with the fact that there is a lot of uh, financial issues that Barca are going through and also to comply with a fair play have never been easy for us. But now this journalist is trying to claim that Laporta and Messi have already made amends and the two of them are already in good terms. Just like they don't want the media to start knowing the, the truth about it. But they have already spoken. Laporta called Messi and, and apologized after everything that happened. And 
he said Messi was happy and he has forgiven Laporta. He's happy about the conversation that they had. So if actually this report is true, then I think Barca can still bring back Messi to the club. But it's just a matter of how can they do it. If they, can, if they still have a lot of targets that they need to strengthen and to bypass the financial fair play, you know, successfully. So it still remains very complicated, even if Laporta Messi relationship is now fine, according to these journalists. But Barca still have a lot to do. And I don't think they should be prioritizing the Messi return over other areas like the right back position, like the winger, left wing position, and so on and so forth. But I think Messi can come in if Barca know that, look, we have really strengthened the positions that need strengthening, then Messi coming would not be a problem. This is my own opinion about this, you know. Of course, I really like Messi to come back to, for, at least for a one last dance in Barca colors because the way he left was not the way we all want him to leave. Some argue that Messi coming might bring a lot of distraction and pay more focus or more attention on him and the team will not be balanced and so on and so forth. But I still believe that if he comes um, working with Xavi as a manager, I don't think things will be like that. I think he will come and add more positives to this team. Then on to the next story of discussion. In an attempt to clear out the squad in the summer to raise money through player sales, Barcelona decided to loan out several players, hoping a few of them would convert into a permanent move. Clement Lenglet joined Tottenham Hotspur, Francisco Trincao moved to Sporting Lisbon, Sergino Des joined AC Milan, Samuel Umtiti was loaned out to Leche, Alex Collado to Elche, Nico Gonzalez to Valencia, and finally, Ace update to Osasuna. These players have had varying levels of success in the loan stints so far. Umtiti, for example, seems to have revived close to his best form and is on the radar of a few big teams in Italy. Des, on the other hand, will likely return to Barca as his move to Milan has not materialized into success at all. On loan, that has... Um, and will likely blossom into a role at Barcelona. On the other hand, is Abdes. The Catalan coaching staff are very happy with his stint with Osasuna, and according to Javi Miguel, the player will join the Barca first team next season. Abde had played um, eight, he has played 18 games so far for Osasuna in the league, starting 11 of those, while he has scored just one goal and given two assists in the process. His dribbling and ability to take on players has only improved in that time. Further, the 21-year-old has come in clutch for the 8th place La Liga side scoring the winner against Sevilla in the league in a 3-2 win and another one against Athletic Club in the Copa del Rey semi-finals less than a week later. Abde's return perfectly coincides with the Barca's misfiring left wing bro. Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres are under huge scrutiny for their less than convincing performances this season. And one or, one or both of them could be sold in the summer to raise money through player sales. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.